So I wanted to talk about something else today, but I got to save it for another day. Matthew Kachuk, the story of number 19 is becoming so monstrous and so huge that I have to talk about this right now. He's like the story of the NHL. He dominates so many headlines. And honestly, just count, okay? Next game you watch, Panthers, Hurricanes, how many times is the camera on number 19 of the Florida Panther, even when Yarmir Yager was there, when Pavel Bure was there, they weren't getting as much limelight as Kachuk is getting right now. I mean, honestly, I heard somebody the other day, a reputable source, but I can't remember who, call him possibly the most marketable star in the entire National Hockey League. How ridiculous would that be? This is like maybe the most talented era of hockey we've ever seen. You've got McDavid, you've got Matthews, you've got McKinnon, and Kachuk might be the most marketable star in a market like Florida? I mean, this guy is becoming legendary. And it's not even in the most hockey crazy market he's played in. I mean, Calgary and London, Ontario, where he played with the Knights, were probably both more hockey crazy than South Florida. Yet he's all over the NHL headlines all the time. People are putting him near the top of the Conn Smythe race with Sergei Bobrovsky. And I'm seeing a ton of people put him in their top five players in the NHL list. And let's not forget, he's a Hart Trophy nominee this year too. I mean... If you would have told me this a year ago, even after he got 104 points with the Calgary Flames, I would not have believed you that the legend of Matthew Kachuk would have grown this much in a calendar year. And even if it would have, I'd be like, oh, he's a Ranger, right? Or, oh, he must be a Bruin or a Leaf if he's getting this much play, right? It's got to be the case. No? No, he's a Florida Panther. And that just tells you how good of a player he is. And again, it's not just the four OT goals or the through the legs beauty goals or even the career high in points this year. It's not that. It's the fact that the guy does everything. He can run you through the boards. He can rip one through you. He can make the beautiful little sauce pass, the cutesy one. He can make the highlight reel play. He can drop the gloves. He can be a leader. He can even be super fun to listen to in the media for an interview. Like, he's got everything. He's even got the fashion sense, and he's not afraid of the cameras. Like, what can this guy not do? And it's gotten insane how versatile and how marketable Matthew Kachuk is. And not even that. Above all, in previous years in Calgary, one of his biggest criticisms was that in the playoffs, a lot of times, he didn't come to play. Well, hey, now, a lot of people are going to be looking at this guy and they're saying, oh, he's a winner. That's the type of guy you win with, which is the ultimate cherry on top for Matthew Kachuk's resume here, and it turns him into the ultimate monster. I'm just honestly shaking my head in complete shock, and every time this guy pops up on my screen, I'm in awe that in a single year, what he's done for his personal brand, the team's brand, and the league's brand, it's just insane stuff. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.